How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Film Co. My name is Phoenix Cloudin, and you guys are in for a treat. I have a very special guest joining me this episode. I am so happy to welcome her, uh, Brooklyn Knight, Hufflepuff, and editor in chief of two websites, Popcorn and Tequila and Popcorn and Tater Tots. My good friend, Shay Wiley. Shay is amazing. Uh, she does so many great things. She writes reviews. I love her reviews because they're centered on millennials of color and uh, family friendly. Because uh, Popcorn and Tater Tots, isn't that like also run with your daughter? Yes, it is. My nine-year-old daughter now. That is that is brilliant. I, I got to get my daughter interested in film like that. That would be great. Um, and you also run a Facebook group for Disney Moms of Color, which I love. Uh, just an idea of women, um, moms in particular, sharing their love of Disney and all other things. So uh, please welcome to the show, first time ever, here on Film Code Podcast, Miss Shay Wiley. Shay, how are you? Hi, guys. I am great, actually. Thank you for having me here. Excellent. So happy to have you here. Uh, so, Shay, uh, we have been talking on Twitter for months now. <laughs> yeah. This is like our first time actually meeting. And uh, one of the things that we've actually bonded over has been uh, the Disney Plus shows. And uh, one of well, one of which there's <laughs> three major there's ones somewhere. that we're going to talk about today, uh, hopefully, in the short time that we have. Uh, the uh, High School Musical, the musical, the series, which has been one of my favorite shows ever. Um, and uh, Big Shot, which has equally been kind of one of my favorite shows ever. And if we have time, I'll try to squeeze in Mighty Ducks Game Changers, which was a fun show uh, that I, I also eager to talk about. So uh, you just finished, literally, <laughs> before, we, before we started recording, just finished the second season of High School Musical, the musical, the series. So I just want right off the bat your thoughts on the second season. What okay. did you think? Okay. Um, so don't tell everyone that I just finished it because now I feel like a bad <laughs> critic. <laughs> it's been out for like months now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I literally just finished it. I've been trying to get through season two for like forever now. Mm -hmm. But there's just been so many shows to cover that it just keeps getting pushed. Yeah, I am absolutely glad that I actually finished it, though, because it was actually pretty good. Yeah, um, I'm surprised that they've thrown in so much new things for the season two. It's not like stagnant. It's not the same as season one. There's new characters. There's a few twists. I love being able to see like the parents finally like, yeah. oh, these kids have freaking parents now, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So many times you don't get to see the parents and it's just like, are these kids parenting themselves? But no, they're there. <laughs> they're here. Right. Um, and the songs are great. I totally forgot they were doing Beauty and the Beast this time. Yeah. And so when they started doing that, I was like, all right, that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. It was good. I'm excited for season three. Yes. And uh, that was one of the things after when I finished uh, the second season was, especially on the last episode, I was like, I don't know it feels sort of sentimental I was kind of like are they get uh, like they ended this like they weren't gonna get a third season and I was like oh yeah oh that would be that would be devastating I'm like, like yeah I'm and then so... we got the announcement and I was yeah. like oh there's there's a third season I need to finish season two people yes but... I was so excited I'm so excited because I anyone who has watched this show <laughs> or listened to this show uh since we've been uh going for over a year and a half now uh knows that I am the biggest musical buff there is on our show like yeah like it's that's my that's my go-to movie musicals are my favorite movies full stop so uh high school musical is one of them and uh <laughs> when uh, the series came out man you you just couldn't shut me up about it so I'm so happy to have another person who's a fan of it so I'm not the the odd one out here but uh, <laughs> But yeah, so speak to me about the differences between the first two seasons, because uh, me and me and one of my other co-hosts, we covered uh, the first season pretty extensively. So I just want to know your feelings on the, the differences between the first two and what you felt stood out. Um, so I would definitely think 
and say that what stood out the most for season two was the new characters and the high school rivalries yeah. and how they added that in. And it was just so cool to see like, cause you know, this things ha- this stuff happens all the time. There's always a high school rivalry, no matter where that high school is, how far <laughs> they are. Somehow everyone has the same event. Somehow we're um, against each other. I remember in high school, we had a thing called Sing. And oh. so all the high schools participated and everyone wanted to be the best. And so it was kind of cool to not just see this one high school do a musical, right. but two different high schools and what the rivalries look like and have the um, characters not only have their characteristics change throughout the show, mm-hmm. then flip back to what it was like at the beginning. I can't remember her name. I don't remember anyone's names, which <laughs> But um, I remember when she first came in season one, she was kind of a mean girl. And to see her switch from mean yeah. girl to an everyone character yeah. and then have another character introduced that was a mean girl that she could relate to, but then had to tell her, no, we don't do that here anymore. Like she was <laughs> right. just doing that a couple of episodes ago. But she's like, no, we're not doing that. Um, That's not how we rock. That's, that's not what we do here right. in this high school. And so it was kind of cool to see like, the characters change and how different they are in this season and they've actually grown they're leaving they're about to be seniors it's crazy so it's kind of cool the the writing is great of it yeah see like a couple of things that you mentioned uh that character her name is gina Um, thank you (laughs) one one of my favorite characters on the show absolutely uh yeah you're 100 right about that like her her switch from first season to this season is probably probably my favorite character switch because like her mean girl stuff I kind of got it you know what I'm saying if you're not in a yep. place long enough you, and you know you 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 rock it you kill it why not but you know what I'm saying she found friends she found a place that she enjoyed and she done mellowed out and she's cool bro I'm like I, I dig her I, I just dig dig Gina she's the best but I, I want to talk about one of the things that you mentioned which was about the parents like it seems like this season we finally get a little bit more into for the adults who watch this show which I know is right. few but like like you know what I'm saying there's some stories for us there you know what I'm saying where it's like okay we get to see uh oh god I'm blanking on her name uh Miss <laughs> Jen it's my fault to, yeah we get we get Miss Jen and her issues and everything she's going through with the other school's uh theater instructor and and uh Ricky's dad and and the uh engineer uh guy like you know what I'm saying it's Love like him. I'm like I'm lo- like as much as I care for the 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 characters the main characters of the cast I care just as much for these adult characters and, and exactly. their stories and and I hope there's more of that in the third season me too that's exactly what I was thinking yeah so you, the music has to hit okay this is this is one of those things where I talk about for every musical no matter what, if you're doing the music, the music has to slap, okay? <laughs> this, like, you can you cannot like musicals. I get it. I totally get it. I don't. Not really. Exactly. But, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? If, if the music is good, the music is good. It doesn't really matter what, what form it takes. Uh, right. So, like, in, in this particular season, now, I will say this. The only thing that season one I think has over this season is that song that um, Ashlyn, uh, Ashlyn and Olivia Rodrigo's character Nini that they do. That's 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 the best, still the best song. But every song in this season is amazing. <laughs> like they are flat out amazing. Like it's it's just incredible how how well choreographed they are. And just how good they sound like this is a great cast that that Disney was able to come up with. And uh... <laughs> I will say, though, okay, <laughs> um, that first song, I, oh, my God, I don't know why I don't know anyone's names. And I feel like I need to pull up a cast list because now it's going to bother me uh-huh. that I don't know anyone's names. <laughs> so and I'm famous for not knowing anyone's names. Like I'll see like in celebrity and they'll be like, Oh, you just saw. And I'm like, Oh, that's who that was. I'm sorry. I didn't, <laughs> you can I didn't it. register. I'm sorry. Listen, I, and I'm, and I'm the complete opposite. You could just describe someone's character and I'll be like, Oh yeah, that's, that's so-and-so. So <laughs> see, yeah. Okay. So Josh, 
Josh. His name is Josh. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Richard. Richie. I Ricky. was like, Josh. Yeah. Who is Josh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay richie sang the song at the beginning it was the song he wrote for her and i was just like why is his voice annoying me so much right now? <laughs> and i was just like i don't get i don't get it i don't yeah, get I, yeah there are some where i'm like yeah no <laughs> and speaking of ricky like talk about a character completely switching from one season to another uh this was a character who i rooted for in the first season who i absolutely could not stand in the second season really yes i, I wonder if the you did you did not share that sentiment <laughs> no i don't think i don't know i i mean he still he still feels the same he's still doing the same dumb things that he's been doing <laughs> but with more with more realization of the fact that he's doing these dumb things. Like the scene where he deletes the comment, like now he realizes like, oh wait, this is toxic. Yeah. Like before he was just doing it and like, but don't, don't argue with me. I did it. I was angry. <laughs> now it's like, oh wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. No. Darn. Now it's like a realization of, so it's like a step forward. Like, yeah, he's still doing dumb things, but yeah. he's getting there. And he's slowly realizing, I am toxic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the realization was. And like, what's funny too is like, we we're talking earlier about character switching. Like, you know, EJ was that character in the first season, mm -hmm. and he's come around full, full fledged, and, and now it's Ricky. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> like, right. like, and I've always loved EJ. Like, as, as, I don't know, as a character, I just thought, that's a guy I like, man. Like me and him would be, we, we'd be best friends. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I know that for a fact. Um, and yeah, it's just interesting to see that character switch. I do want to ask you this. Um, who would you have cast as Belle? Would, would you have gone with Ashlyn or, or would you have gone in a different direction? Who personally would you have gone with? I'm glad you asked because I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I would have casted her differently. I think they casted Beauty and the Beast beautifully. Mm -hmm. I think Lumiere, is it Lumiere, <laughs> Lumiere? I don't remember any names. You see how bad this is? But, um, <laughs> the freaking <laughs> candle. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible when we get to the uh, Mighty Ducks, Jesus. Oh God, oh my God. And I'm a 90s baby, so you know people are gonna come for me like you really don't know anyone's name. That's how bad this is. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't have a great memory. Um, so yeah, Mr. Candle <laughs> was casted greatly as well. But no, 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 no. I think Ashley was a great bow. And yeah. I think that the topic of being a plus size character when it's traditionally a smaller character and the anxieties that come with that mm -hmm. was awesome to see in a teen role because normally we see that as an adult and mm -hmm. we see those insecurities projected through the adult eyes but seeing that from a kid's point of view and having her understand like yeah i'm plus size this is not what it looks like on tv i don't get why i'm here despite knowing she's freaking awesome mm -hmm. was great to see and i do think that they did the right decision by casting her as such because it's not what you look like it's your talent yes 100% agree. Especially in high school musicals. <laughs> yes, 100% agree. Uh, and I love that point that you made. Like, uh, yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. I was just like going off a of voice. And I was like, it's like, yeah, of course you go with Ashlyn. <laughs> like, right, right. like, she's amazing. Like, <laughs> her voice is ridiculous. But yeah, that's a, a great point is, um, is a lot of the social issues that they tackle actually a lot more, I think, in this particular season. Um, we mentioned Ashlyn, but also what they do with Carlos. He has a whole episode, you know, yep. to himself, basically about his uh, quinceanero, 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 yeah. <laughs> which, I, which I think is is brilliant. And I don't know why guys don't get a quinceanero. I think that's that's ridiculous. Uh, you know, saying everybody wants a big party, man. Like, right. go for it. And and that episode was just amazing. Like, and I and I have a huge problem where I don't cry in real life. I only cry at movies. <laughs> so like 
yeah, like that episode, I was a ball and mess. I'm like, this is this is just too sweet. Like this is just Absolutely. lovely. So yeah, that was one of those. That was one of those things. And um, there's another uh, example. I, I I am forgetting. Um, but I glossing over that point, <laughs> mm-hmm. that key point. Um, the relationships that happen in this show, I think, are they're good without you know, they're very disney <laughs> like, i'll put it like that. <laughs> they're, they're very disney <laughs> well, they are yeah. but they're also true to high school because i remember writing down as i was watching how many freaking times are these two gonna get together and break up and get together and break up <laughs> like i had to write that down and i was like wait no that is actually a high school thing yeah and like the whole toxic boyfriend and realizing like his issues are actually him although it's never realized in high school it's always realized <laughs> way later in, Much life. later in life yes <laughs> after like 20 people tell you what's wrong with you <laughs> but yeah so the relationships were kind of cool to see especially because it was high school of yeah. course disney it's gonna be it's with a smile yeah yeah it's it's very like it's like okay like you can definitely go darker there this <laughs> absolutely the parent relationships of um when <laughs> richie was like yo why is dude here in the audience like that could have went so left oh, so listen, quickly <laughs> listen i i swear listen i am a theater kid okay i'm a theater lucky. kid Lucky. When I saw Ricky walk out of that show and like gave his role to EJ, all I kept thinking was, we'd have beat you up backstage. <laughs> <laughs> we'd have straight jumped you. We would have leave the show. You know that. Bro, like there's no way. Like you, you know you only get really like one, maybe two chances to perform. And you do that? Oh, to beat you down. I'd have beat you with a prop. I don't care. Like <laughs> I swear to God, like, that's the most ridiculous thing ever. And, like, even in this season, you see them, like, sort of, like, joke about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, make sure everyone comes back in the roles that they started in. Like, <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm glad they were able to make fun of that because I'm like, bro, like, I know. Because in real life. At my school, you, yeah. So, like, not only did you not make it to the next performance? You probably ain't going to be there next year. Like you you know de- You're definitely not coming back. <laughs> um, sir, we do not have a place for you this season. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't do, we don't do that here. Sorry. <laughs> like, and, but then you did see them question, like, is he reliable enough to come and yeah. do this, this time around? That was, that was Which, weird. I mean, like, I think they accepted like his tardiness and his sort of, uh, they sure did. They were just like, which I'm like, but, okay. but on the flip side, he was dealing with a lot and I think that so many people gloss over the fact that high school kids deal with so many issues that they either don't speak of or they're too ashamed to speak of to the adults Mm -hmm. so it gets glossed over and so it's automatically like oh but you're in high school now you're supposed to know how to do this and they forget that they're still kids and they're not adults and they haven't like learned how to deal with these emotions yet so when things like that happen yeah a high school kid is gonna walk off the stage. Yeah. Cause it's so much to process. And he was already dealing with so much building up to it. He literally didn't know what to do. And right. so he just walked off. And, and like, so I I'm think go- it's a lot. I'm so glad you pointed that out because I'm like, that's something like as an adult, I think and probably why I don't know how many adult fans there are of this show, but there are a lot. I'm like, sure right. there are a lot. I'm sure like that's one of those things where it was like a, a point of contention was like, is this really like you know what I'm saying? Is this really what you're gonna do just because he showed up seriously? Like if anything, it shows that your parents are are comfortable enough together that he could show up. You know what I'm saying? It was like so yeah I, but I like, for a kid but for a kid yeah yeah, yeah. It, was, it was probably really striking and uh but we we still would have jumped you i don't care <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 i totally understand i don't I, I i truly believe um the show must go on and you need to push through that my friend right. i'm gonna need you to cry the tears on the stage <laughs> on the stage push all your anger and emotions <laughs> while you act on the stage exactly. not outside in the corner nah no 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 <laughs> act it out H for me, please. You Thank you. Me. And then when we're done, you <laughs> can leave quickly, skip the party afterwards, and then we can ask you, you know, where were you at the party?
right. Yeah, that's when we ask you, not yeah, during the show. Not during the show. Because imagine <laughs> not having someone to replace him. Like, then it's right. a mess. Everyone's thrown off. No, that's not <laughs> fair. It's all bad. All bad. All right. So before we move on to the next show, I want to ask, what are your hopes, expectations, anything that you want to see in the third season? Okay. So I need to see this teacher and teacher relationship happen. <laughs> I'm just yeah. going to put it out there. He has waited long enough. <laughs> and so when they finally took her away from Richie's dad, I was like, yay, finally, he has yeah. his moment. And then he does say at the end that um the only thing that's keeping him there is her. So right. I'm hoping they figure this out. Right. I'm hoping she gets like a happy story and he doesn't have to leave and she's all sad and <laughs> let's figure that out people Ooh. write that into the script now if you haven't done so right we are waiting right um i am i, I i'm trying to figure out what next disney i haven't i didn't read the email that they sent saying there was a season three so i have no idea what's coming next right. i want to know what um show they're gonna do right so like a little mermaid would be cool Ooh. since we're getting little mermaid coming but maybe that'll be too much for people. Right. With the black mermaid and the mermaid on top of maybe that'll be a lot. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know what? That's that's a good question because I like I've been like in my head about that forever. It's like, what should be their next show? This is yeah. this is literally this is literally a theater kid's mind, right? Like going like Yeah, what's our next production? What like, are we doing? Yes. Next? Like, like we- you're already start practicing right. your head, like <laughs> It's like, can we, can we, we have pull off to... into the woods? Can we, you know, like, like, <laughs> right, like, like, can we go bigger this time? Like, right. we, like, we tried the, the flying, right? now what's like, next? Like, <laughs> like, cause that's how it was. Like we finished Beauty and the Beast. All right, literally, what's next? What's next? <laughs> like, next day, like, come on. I didn't get like, to be know. a theater kid. So I'm leave, living through it now. <laughs> TV. Love it. All right. So, uh, I don't know if they told you when we're getting an exact date on uh, the third season. I don't know. I can look. This is me literally going into my email right now and checking <laughs> and seeing what it says. Because for some reason, I didn't read it. I doubt they gave us a... Yeah, I think I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they were shooting at this moment. Because... Yeah, it just says that it was green lighted. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, but it does say that season three will follow the Wildcats as they leave the hallways of East High mm. for the summer, for the ultimate summer at sleepaway camp, complete with campfires, summer romances, and curfew less nights. That's going to be a problem. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, no, this is Disney. No, it won't. Never right, mind. Right, right. It's like, I think Disney's going to. Delve into the realm of teen pregnancy. Let's hope. Let's right. No, they're not going that far. It's just Disney. It's just Disney. Um. So yeah, production will relocate from Salt Lake City to Los Angeles and begin later uh, this year. So maybe it started. Okay. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I, I like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they hadn't actually started filming yet because of yeah. the pandemic. So, um, <sighs> yeah. So damn, looks like we're gonna have to wait at least another year. Mm-hmm. Or, or something like that for for the third season but i'm super excited cannot wait uh and if you have not yet please check out high school musical the musical the series yes i know that is a long title but yes that is the actual title <laughs> so started <laughs> it's two seasons of great music great characters and a whole lot of fun worth checking out disney plus mm-hmm. if you have it or can steal someone's password don't do that <laughs> anyway <laughs> not what we said to do but also <laughs> no one said that it's not even on the record <laughs> all right so let's move on to another show that i know you and i both loved <laughs> like, absolutely loved thought it was fantastic uh the other disney plus series big shot starring oh god i'm blanking on his name <laughs> john stamos there it is it's my yeah. fault i'm telling you it's rubbing off now <laughs> <laughs> John Stamos and our girl Yvette Nicole Brown. Yvette, my friend. Uh, congrats I hope she hears this. I'll Emmy tag her when I share this. Yes, she can hear it. But I love her. <laughs> uh, She's my friend. 
so so amazing so amazing and so good in this show (laughs) so good so good so good (laughs) so big shot uh along with my love for musicals the other thing that i love and also get picked on a lot for (laughs) is is my love for women's basketball i'm actually really big really big women's basketball why you get picked on i'm sorry I don't get paid. I get teased. I'll, I'll say that. I get teased. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so this thing, this show, you know what I'm saying? Disney Plus is one of the reasons why I'm subscribed is because they they got everything I love. They got they got Marvel, they got musicals, and they got women's basketball. So we're 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 in love. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> right. right. So big shot, you know, you got John Stamos, who's come on, John Stamos. I'm I'm gonna watch just for him. But then yeah. you have women's basketball high school women's basketball uh this great great setup for for drama you have a coach who played at the highest level college level lost his temper got (laughs) blackballed and his only job he could get was on a girls high school basketball team and it's such a great story just such a fall from grace type of story for this character and and just how he you know works with this this team and gets them where they're going and then you have a principal <laughs> played by Yvette Nicole Brown who is, whose comedic timing on this show I swear to you is a thing of gold it is so good and just just great chemistry all around so we finished this show I think we wa- we talked about it week by week so overall what did you think of Big Shot? That is one of the best Disney Plus original series that has been released since they started about two years ago. Yes. Um, I was not expecting it to be that great. First <laughs> of all, I didn't realize Big Shot was going to be like this whole basketball thing. Mm-hmm. John Stamos like completely just like blew over me. I was like watching it and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> I know him. Yeah. <laughs> and then Yvette came in and I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> but aside from those big names, like, it was so good. It was so well written. Yes. From, like, episode one. I was just like, I can't imagine how great this is. <laughs> like, even my daughter came in at one point and saw me watching it. And she was like, wait, what is this? <laughs> Can you start over? And I was like, oh, my God. But she eventually <laughs> didn't go through the entire the entire show which i'm sure some parents are probably relieved to hear that the nine-year-old didn't watch it because i had some comments on my um review for the first episode that i needed to update this review because there is something in there that parents don't want their kids to see really (sighs) i was like um okay ma'am um i'm gonna need you to act instead of command i'm not gonna change anything because you want it to but maybe you're right you're right. I'm sorry. Let me. So I did update the post, but it was so good. And even with the kiss, which is what everyone was complaining about the kiss in the first not, episode, not the first episode. It was like later in the season, oh, okay. but like, even with that, it is just so good. It was so good to see and to see a sports drama, which I actually realized that I love sports dramas way more than I realized <laughs> way more than I actually like watching regular sports, which is right. crazy right so yeah it was awesome yeah i i mean i just right off the bat i just was not expecting it to be this good <laughs> like, yeah, like, like i wasn't was, either i really wasn't i'm like I, I was like i'm gonna give it a shot right yep that was my thought i was like i'm gonna give it a shot it's disney john stamos whatever you know say so got a decent premise i will watch the first episode <laughs> that's, that, that's literally as far as I was going. I will watch the first episode and that'll be that. And in the first episode, I don't know. I don't know if it's Disney. I don't know if it's the writing room there. I don't know what they have in the water. <laughs> <laughs> the water. <laughs> right. I'm just like that, 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 that show, like, I mean, from direction to writing to acting just mm-hmm. all the way around. I was like, yeah, man, like, give me this. And I, I'll tell you what 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 got me was uh in the first episode he meets uh I am going to forget her name but uh, <laughs> the uh the the girl who's like whose dad owns like the stadium yes, yes, yeah yes. 
and like she like she like Miss Big Shot him. herself. She like, yeah, she was feeling mm-hmm. herself. She was like, you know, it was like, oh, at least you're cute or whatever. And he was like, what did you just say to me? And he's like, yeah, you gone. Like I was like, bye, get out. I love this show. So like, yep. I was like, oh, like my dude got no value. It's best player. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, none of that. <laughs> my dude was like, I'm not having none of that. Like, it's yeah, bad no. enough I got to work in a high school. Like, I'll refuse like, to have any any attachment to that. Like, Right, because I was like, because it's bad enough that he threw a chair. So now it's like, oh, so you threw a chair and you're being complimented by a high school girl? Mm-mm. This isn't looking too well for you. <laughs> but he also needed to command his um his respect. And I get that, like, I worked in after school, so my mistake the first time around was thinking that you can be friends with these kids. You can't. You can, but you can't. (laughs) So you have to learn how to command respect off the bat. And that was his way of saying, y'all got me up (laughs) and (laughs) that's not what we're doing here, ma'am. I don't care if your name is on the gym, because it was. Right. I don't care how much money your parents make. What we're not going to do is (laughs) this. Is this. After I just caught a case and had to come work here first of all. (laughs) So, yeah. So, it was cool to see, like, him command his respect as, as, like, everyone hates him already. So, he has to bring back that respect somehow. And that was his way. She just happened to be the one that tested him first. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I was like, I was like, I had no sympathy. I, I don't. Think Me I, neither. I, I was so happy. I was like, like five episodes. I was like, <laughs> right until she cried, and it was like, <laughs> damn, he really does have some issues. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, she cried. I was like, <laughs> oh, but that's that's another thing too. Like, so there's about I, I want to say like six or seven main characters on the team that the show really focuses on and like each one has like at least an episode maybe even two Mm -hmm. devoted to them and like it's just so good like like oh god I want to stop saying it's so good and y'all have to (laughs) because I'm telling you it's so good but there's like moments I I hate to jump around but I'm thinking of when uh uh tell me mouse tell me mouse mouse is definitely one of them okay Uh, not that one but Mouse, man, Mouse is easily one of my favorite characters. She sure is. She, like, there was an episode where, um, uh, oh, girl, the same one we were just talking about. She hadn't mm-hmm. studied for the test. And they're, they're, you know, they're standing in the hallway. She's panicking because she hasn't studied. Uh, other girl, I can't remember her name, Black girl, is, you know, trying to, you know. Olive. See, I got to pull yes, up now, so you. I know. She's, uh, she's, trying to, she's trying to comfort her. And then Mouse just, like, like the best comedic timing I've ever heard. She like closes her locker and goes, "You're gonna fail." <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> so that's weird. because they also had no sympathy for her as well. <laughs> oh, man. it was it was it was all around. No one had sympathy. Her name is Louise, you guys. Yes, no one Louise. cares about Louise throughout the entire season. <laughs> we're sorry louise we still love you (laughs) great player great player but uh yeah no sympathy anyway (laughs) but yeah mouse i mean mouse had her own story uh with her coming out story and and falling for you know (laughs) yeah right (laughs) right (laughs) which is so i was like so weird i was like talk about a conflict of interest there (laughs) Mm -hmm. that was just that was just so strange. But uh and Olive, Olive, I love so so much. So so much. I do. Like just, you know, as a character and just and her particular episode is the one that I was like, again, I don't I don't cry in real life. I only cry in, <laughs> in television shows. And like her episode, like I got choked up, man, because it was her like social media stunt. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> like when she when she accepted it, I was like, oh, I don't know if you should do that. And then I was so but but I was so happy for her when she accepted it. I was like, yes, black girl, get your coins. Yes. And then and then she signed a contract. And I was like, like wait, ooh. no. I was like, uh, something's happening oh, after she signed that. You just knew something was coming after she signed that contract. Yeah. 
And then, then she bad mouthed him. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I was oh, like, oh no. no. And but like, but you wanted to root for her because it was like, yes, do what you're supposed to do. Right. But then you remember in the back of your head as an adult because <laughs> the kids aren't thinking about this. No. But as the adult wants you, and you're like, well, you know, you signed that contract, sis. Right. Now you know somewhere in that contract, as an adult, right. it says you cannot yes. say anything <laughs> negative. <laughs> That's like the first thing they put, right. but they put it really small somewhere and they code it. <laughs> you can't see it, but it's in there. And yeah. I saw her not read the contract, and I was like, "Oh, oh God, dang. she didn't even read it." <laughs> it was like, it was like, I oh. wonder how many zeros was on that check to make you go, "Yeah, I didn't even got to read." Right, this. it was <laughs> a lot too. But at the same time, it was like, no, no, baby, no. So many don'ts here. <laughs> oh, man. But I love that episode, too, because that was the first time we got to see Olive's parents. Yes. And, and where she really lived. And, and you know, cause especially because especially like I said, we spend like the first episode, I think, on Louise, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe like first three episodes on Louise entirely. And then we start, you know, discovering other members of the team and they all have their own individual stories that are really kind of, you know, said just kind as of crazy, heavy, actually, I would yeah. say heavier than most Disney shows go. And um, yeah. And so Olive's thing, you know, you know, n- doing her videos, not in front of her house, you know, pretending that was rich. crazy. Yeah. Depending. I was just like, Ooh, that's a sticky situation. But yeah. like, and that, and that same episode is when he's trying to recruit, uh, the other player from from uh, oh god <laughs> from the uh, other team and uh, you know he's trying to offer her a scholarship and I love I loved her parents <laughs> her parents were like wait that's it a scholarship like bro right like <laughs> with a house with a like, car <laughs> like 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 this other school they offer vacations like like hey, we didn't she, didn't they say somebody offered her a car and I was hey, like, like, oh, like bro we get paid over here bro you talking about a scholarship <laughs> <laughs> Well, first of all you guys that is all illegal so don't even think about getting a car because all of that is illegal you guys oh man but it's just a simple fact of like people were really trying that hard and he was like nah just a scholarship yeah, yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> and she gets to work for me right right like, <laughs> like his name mattered at, at all at that moment i loved it and uh and just but that that like the moment at the end of that episode where he's like those are all his parents and instead offers the scholarship to her. I was just like, <clears throat> I know, I Real know. Jesus don't cry out here. <laughs> but it was so, I was so happy that she could stay and yeah. like, and it was like, dang, if she had said something earlier, maybe they she would have gotten that scholarship so much sooner. Right. And it's such a big thing on like reminding kids, like you got to speak up and you got to advocate for yourself. And you can't keep pretending that you live in this big house <laughs> when you don't. When you don't. Because then everyone <laughs> believes you and they think you're okay right. while you're struggling. And it was just such a good, a good episode. Man. And, and I will say that all the moments where Mr. John Stamos, Mr. Horrible Coach, <laughs> was um really soft and emotional with his kids is what got me the most. Right. Like watching him flip from this arrogant college basketball coach to this mellowed out like really in tune with his emotions and what the other girls wanted Mm -hmm. i was like oh disney is so good for this (laughs) uh the other character that i really want to talk about i wish i could get her name it's driving me crazy Uh, which one which one i got you oh god latino girl i cannot i'm like i know names today her name destiny Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I know names today. So okay, on. talk about emotional arcs in this show. That one I <laughs> definitely shed some tears for. I was like, I and I even... usually don't cry during films. No, like I'll I hold cry. it in. I'll <laughs> hold it. In. Like you're not about to cry. <laughs> no, it's just a movie. Stop it. <laughs> it didn't even really happen. But you no know, stuff with kids get me. All the uh, time, all like, the time, every time. <laughs> watching her story, and her mom, it was like that wasn't her I was, mom. I was so salty too. I was like, like when 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 it was, Cry. I know. <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh man, when it was revealed, like I wish I had like a camera on me right then, because I like, Yo. like when she caught, it, I was like, <gasps> I, sh- I always say like I should record myself <laughs> watching shows because I know my emotions are crazy. Oh man, like was- the way she felt, I'm pretty sure I was right next to her, standing Bro. there like, "Yo, what?" Like I don't know. That's like, what happened. Because I'm sitting up here like I don't know how I would feel knowing that, like I could that- deal with being adopted, right? But, but knowing that. I thought my mom was my aunt this whole time. Her mother was there the entire, the entire time, time after thinking you're adopted and your mom. I don't even remember what the lie was that they told her about her mom, but like that is insane. Yeah. To just turn around and be like, oh no, mom was here this entire time. Yeah. You yeah. know your mom. Like but basically it, happens. it was basically your 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 mom is your aunt and your aunt is your mom. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it was like what <laughs> like and you were just you know you're talking earlier about you know kids can't handle certain things i'm like that's one thing where i'm like i'm not even a kid and i was watching it going bro i would exactly. be messed up exactly <laughs> <laughs> talking about leaving the stage i wasn't coming to practice like for right. real, for real. she kept going to practice y'all wouldn't have been able to find me i'd have been in like some park somewhere <laughs> on the swings just, you know with the uh, rain falling just <laughs> swinging back and forth crying <laughs> like how do you deal with that as a kid oh, people man. normally get information as an adult and then it's like i don't care anymore but as a kid and then have to show up for basketball practice yeah i mean and have people on you all at the same time like they were bothering her <laughs> at that moment too and it's like how she ain't snap Mm-mm. right right i mean i genuinely i genuinely cannot wait <laughs> for, <laughs> for season, season two i mean they said so happy they set this thing up so well bro and like Congratulations to once again, congratulations to Yvette Nicole Brown on her Emmy nomination and her HCA yes, nomination. Yes. Uh she like I, t- listen, this show deserved more recognition than it got. Like, Son. One one hundred percent deserved more recognition than it got. I don't understand. <laughs> and I think it's because people just thought it was gonna be like this whack Disney right. show right. for kids, but it's so yeah. much more than that. Dude, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I swear to god like and that's why i'm that's why i'm saying we didn't even cover like everything on it yeah i'm you know like damn saying? i might have to come back you guys so we can yeah, really go like oh, like there was just so many good moments in this show and like i said i, I think you're 100 right i think people kind of wrote it off as something something small or insignificant or whatever mm-hmm. and it was amazing it was amazing and yvette nicole brown was amazing we didn't even touch on her <laughs> like, right or the coach, the one. other coach. Oh, oh my no. god, <laughs> how bad she was and how she kept flipping. And at one point, I was like, I don't even know if she's real. Like at one point, I was for sure certain. Yo, sis, she's serious. Take this job. She's about to give you her role. She's she's serious. And then she did something else, and I was like, damn, now I don't know. <laughs> Is she just messing with us? And that's that's like, definitely that's definitely something I'm concerned about. Like, because I love the relationship between uh, uh, Marvin Korn and his yeah. his assistant coach. Right. I love their relationship, but I'm like, I kind of want her to take that job. I do too. I do I'm too. Like, I want to see what it's like. I want to see how they do if they go head to head. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like I kind of want that. So. I don't know. I'm I'm torn. I'm like I want them to stay together, but I kind of also want to see them go head to head. So I'll, I'm like, then we get that high school rivalry. Love it, love it. <laughs> Just keep doing it. <laughs> so I know you got to get up out of here. We unfortunately didn't sad. get to Game Changers, which you know, great I'll show. Be back. If you haven't checked it. it out, but Shay will definitely be back, and we can talk touch on it. Um, once again, Shay Wiley, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for being uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. You know You've been a blast. And uh, I can't wait to talk more Disney with you and other stuff if you're interested. Uh, where can everybody find you? Um, Shay Wiley, S-H-A-Y-E-W-Y-L-L-I-E. Everywhere on social. And then popcornandtequila.com, popcornandtatatots.com. And you can probably find me somewhere on Scary Mommy site now. We're writing for them too. I'm all over you guys. But find me on Twitter. Don't don't even bother with Instagram, you guys. Unboxing videos. Twitter is where it's at. So that's where I am. All right.
right. And we will see you guys next time. I've been Phoenix Club. She's been Shay Wiley. We are out of here. Peace.